Hello everyone, I welcome you in this online maths lesson for 5th class from chapter 5 and page number 127 we are going to do some MCQs. Our first question is, what is the standard method of writing rupees 13 and 50 paise? For this we have 4 options here, we will read the options, option A rupees 1350, option B rupees 13.50, option C 1350 paise and option D is none. As you all know, we have a sign for Indian currency rupees. This is the sign and it is used to denote Indian rupees. To write rupees and paise collectively, we use decimal. And while using decimal, we have to write amount of rupees on left side of the decimal and amount of paise on the right side of the decimal. So here, we have to write 13.50. Option B is the correct answer and we will put a tick here. Moving to our next question. Our second question is, how many rupee 2 coins are there in rupee 26? And to find the answers, we have 4 options again. The 4 options are, option A is 52, option B is 26, Option C is 13 and option D is 20. Here we will use a 2 rupee coin to solve the problem. This is a 2 rupee coin. Now we will see how many 2 rupee coins together make rupees 26. One coin has value equal to rupees 2. We will use such coins to make rupees 26 in total. Let's count the number of coins. To make rupees 26 in total. Here we start counting the coins. The value of first coin is rupees 2. And when we keep on adding, we will find the total amount equal to rupees 26. 2 plus 2 becomes 4 plus 2 is 6, 8, 10. And now 12. Now it becomes 14. 16, 18, 20, 22, 24 and 26. Now we have got the total amount 26. Let's check the number of coins we have used to make rupees 26. We will count them all. Let's start counting the number of coins. This is the First coin, 1, then 2, 3, this is 4th coin, then 5th, this is 6th coin, next is 7th coin, here we get 8th coin, 9th, then 10th, 11th, 12th and 13th, total 13 coins have been used here. So, option C is the right answer and we will put a tick mark here. Here is our third question. If the cost of a pen is rupees 12, what is the cost of 11 pens? And for this we have four options again. Option A is rupees 120, option B is rupees 23, option C is rupees 1 and option D is rupees 132. Kids, you all know it very well. When we know the cost of one thing and we have to find out the cost of more than one things, we use multiplication. Here, we will multiply the cost of one pen with the number of pens we have to buy. Rupees 12 multiplied by 11. Yes, when we will multiply 12 and 11, our answer will be equal to rupees 132. Yes, option D, rupees 132 is the correct option and we will put a tick here. Here is our fourth question. This is again an MCQ to solve. Look at the question. The cost of a dozen pencils is rupees 60. Find the cost of one pencil. Yes, here again we will get 
four options and we will have to choose one right option. Option A is rupees 12, option B is rupees 5, option C is rupees 60 and option D is rupees 30. First thing one dozen is equal to 12. Here cost of 12 things is given and when we know the cost of more than one things and we have to find the cost of one thing that means we have to divide there. Yes, here we will do division. We will divide the cost of 12 pencils by the number of pencils 60 divided by 12. And when we will divide 60 by 12, our answer will be 5. 60 divided by 12 is 5. Cost of one pencil is rupees 5. So option B rupees 5 is the correct answer. Put a tick here. Now it's homework time. You have to revise all these MCQs at your home properly. Stay safe. Stay tuned to your online studies. Goodbye. Thanks.